hello guys welcome back to chili Philly. and today i am going to show you how to make any icon to ro rotate in this way you can see on your screen okay this icons of youtube and yahoo and facebook google plus and line messenger any icon you want you can rotate it in this way on if we hover on the icon it is going to rotate okay you can see this and there is a nice border or you can say the box set up okay so here let's see how to make it here i'm going to use the sublime text editor okay and here i have the basic html skeleton and i'm going to give it the title of you can give it any name i am giving the title of icons and i'm going to link the CSS file it is the style fit so I'm going to give it name of style fit and I am referencing the file that is icon.css and uh, you can see there is nothing in the icon.css file okay so now in the body tag we are going to write a div tag i'm going to open this and also closing this and here i'm also giving it the id of um, i'm giving here the id of logo okay yeah yeah i think uh, yeah it's okay and giving it id of logo and inside the id of logo i'm giving the image that are the images of the WhatsApp or Facebook or Google Plus. Okay. The icons of which you want to rotate. Okay. Now I'm also giving the ID of image. Okay. And we have to give it its source. And here are the source. And I'm pasting it here and I'm closing that new text. Sorry, image tag. And I'm now copying this four more times. And I'm giving back the names that are Yahoo, Facebook, Line, and Google Plus. First is Yahoo, and the second one is Facebook. It's line and the last one is for Google Plus. All the files are .png extension. Okay, now I'm going to save it and opening the CSS file. Now for the CSS file, I'm going to write for the body, the background color. I'm going to give it the background color of black. And now for the ID logo i am going to give it the width of 1000 pixels because it is sufficient to store that five icons okay now i am giving the margin left of i am here giving 500 pixels and i am also giving the margin top of 300 pixels this will center down our icons all icons okay now for the second id that is for image mm, i'm going to give the border radius to 100 percent because this will make our square icons to circular icon okay and you can see that our icons are so circle or okay so here I have also give the height of 70 pixels because in the animation you can see the height of any icon is fixed or I have given it 70 pixels okay so here I have given the height is 70 pixels and we want margin left 10 pixels because there is some space between these two icons you can see in everything 
okay so we have to specify that by giving the margin left of 10 pixels okay here i will write this mm -hmm. it is for managing the space between two icons and i'm going to close it okay now what should i do is i am okay oh. so the next one is i am giving is the box shadow and i am giving it four pixels in the horizontal four pixels in the vertical and i am giving the blur effect to three pixels and the color of the box shadow is orange okay the first one is for horizontal second is for vertical third is for blur and the last one is color okay now what i have to give it mm, no it's okay for this and now i'm giving the properties for the hover okay this will execute only when we hover over that image id okay now for that hover we are giving the animation of uh, we are giving the animation or uh, name rotate and it will last for two seconds and the timing function is linear we are not giving infinite here because we don't want it for infinite time we just want it for only one time okay now for the animation name we have to specify the keyframes for the animation name that is rotate okay now for zero percent we have to transform and we want to rotate it from zero degree and from scale one and at 100 percent we want it to transform and we also want to rotate it to 360 degree or a whole rotation and i also want to scale of 1.3 i am increasing it by 3 okay now i'm going to save it and i'm going to open this in the browser so you can see it is rotating but in this you can see this the icons are being changed and in the square at the end of the animation okay now let's see how to make this so for making the icon square at the end we have just have to specify the border radius to 0% and this will create a square from a circle that in the beginning we have changed the border radius to 100% and at the end we are changing it to 0 okay now I'm going to save it and I'm going to open in the browser and now you can see the circle are converting into square at the end of the animation and there is this box shadow of orange color okay so that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts or, or if you want to ask any questions then please comment in the comment section okay so i will see you guys in the very next video